Hey, welcome back to the garage, you guys. Um, got all of our uh, parts for our bamboo back and belly bow set uh, set out here, um, along with the form that we're going to be using, uh, just to kind of take it through a quick dry run for you because you're going to have a hard time uh, showing this during the actual process. So I'm going to outline what, what I do and then come back and show you some before and after uh, pictures of, of how this process goes along. Um, let's start first with the form. Uh, we, we already picked our form that we're going to use, but you'll notice that I have a high density foam layer on here. Uh, the purpose of which is to uh, mitigate those, those nodes, you know, while trying to bend it into the shape of the form. And so by having that heavy foam, it kind of acts as a, an absorbent, uh, it absorbs those nodes without uh, giving up the shape. Uh, I got it, or got the idea, um, you may recognize this as one of those foam uh, floor tiles, you know, and, and actually this is the one I used. You can see I cut strips off of here and just pieced together a, uh, just a, a foam top for my, my form. All right, so we start there. Uh, for glue, we are gonna use EA40 uh, epoxy. And you'll notice in the instructions that it talks about doing one-to-one -one ratios if ever you've used it before. But there's a part in here that says when mixed 2A to 1B by volume, it will achieve greater heat resistance and improve physical properties. All right, so I, uh, I have read the technical sheet. It talks about a, a heat distortion value of like 217 degrees. Uh, also talks about uh, curing a bow or curing any project after the fact at 250 degrees for two hours to improve the heat distortion qualities of this glue. Um, we are now traversing into areas of which I am not even remotely uh, educated or an expert on. What I can tell you is that I have used EA40 mixed two to one um, on these bows and I've had zero problems heat treating the belly uh, in order to affect tiller. And so we're going to mix it two to one and glue it up. Uh, here's how the process is going to work. We're going to layer, we're going to layer this mold with plastic wrap from end to end and just let it leap over the side and start by gluing our core and our backing together. And these are going to set in the mold ahead of everything else. So we'll get it centered in here on the mold. And then we will glue the belly side of the riser. Now this is going to be kind of a separate gluing process right here. So once we get these components together, we're going to come back and clamp this down so that we got this piece of the mold already done. So this, this will be basically done in through here. And then once this is clamped down, we'll then come back and glue on the additional belly pieces. And then once these are in place, we'll take the plastic over top and then we're, we'll wrap this with rubber bands to get the, uh, the shape of the mold down. All right, so that's, that's going to be the gluing process. And it's a little bit, well, it's a lot different than say like a typical, uh, just a gluing on a backing. Uh, and and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and, and put a, a link in the, in the end screen for, for gluing on a bamboo backing just for the, for the basic glue mix uh, and uh, how to how to actually put the glue on the on the components piece of things, uh, I'm not going to cover that again in this video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get to get to work with the, the glue itself and get all my parts assembled, and then I'll come back and show just kind of in steps where we are along the group gluing process, so that you can. Uh, follow along the actual process itself for for this multi-piece bow because the the actual clamping is going to be different than just putting it back onto a belly Okay guys, here we are all glued up and strapped down. So you can see everything's been assembled and uh, lashed down with rubber bands here. Uh, 
if you're interested in getting uh, information about how to apply the glue and how to use the rubber bands, uh, that that link again will be in my in the end screen for you guys to go to gluing the, the bamboo back. Uh, if you've done everything right, as you shouldn't have to have these uh, clamps in the center, so the rubber bands are holding everything down. Uh, but I like to keep the pressure on the on the middle just to just to ensure that we've got uh, good pressure throughout. Now, one one point of note, and I had taken a picture, and I don't know if in the end that I'm going to be putting it in the in the uh, video, but I left a little extra glue right at the ends of the riser. And if you'll recall, well, just when you have any any surfaces that that taper out in between lambs, you want to give just a little extra measure of glue in that uh, location to make sure it fills any possible gaps that may be there. Now, I actually put a pretty heavy dose of glue up the ramps on the fades on both sides, uh, knowing that we, we were struggling just a little bit with getting that contour right on the bamboo uh, belly strips. Uh, and you'll notice I've got a lot of, a lot of pressure concentrated right on those ramps there on the, the back fades. Uh, but everything is glued, everything's ready to go. Uh, again, little extra measure of glue on the belly piece in general. Uh, you'll recall that we had a, a little bit of a crown on there that I tried to work out. Uh, and just in case there are any spots that, that are still a little bit crowned that we need to fill gaps, I've got just that extra, extra measure of glue on, the, on that particular uh, glue line, so it will it should fill any gaps that we have, and uh, EA40 is good for filling gaps uh, in that regard uh, and being very uh, reliable. So here we are glued up. Uh, we're going to let it sit now for 24 hours and come back and unstrap this guy and, and get a look at the uh, initial bends and weight and everything else uh, in the next episode. Be sure to. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel so you can get uh, updates when that video comes out and we can unwrap this together. I will uh, see you then.